The closing of XO Asian Cuisine last year, it got a ton of publicity. A popular downtown restaurant shut down to protect the public health. But records obtained by Target 8 show the Kent County Health Department has temporarily and quietly closed the doors on seven other restaurants in recent years. Now, most because they posed an imminent risk to public health for roaches, mice, and sewage problems. In our series, Dirty Dining, Target 8 investigator Ken Colker is here with the story of one restaurant whose owners say the temporary shutdown was actually the best thing that could have happened. Ken? Yeah, Brian and Marley, while last spring's forced closing of Exo Asian Cuisine in downtown Grand Rapids got a lot of attention, the others, including that of a family-owned restaurant on 20th Street in Wyoming, got none. The owners of Elizabeth's Kitchen say the closing nearly two years ago actually helped. They're showing us that, that, we, that, that we have to do a better job. Back in 2015, the pest control battle at Elizabeth's was being won by the roaches. Inspectors first found them in March, live roaches in the kitchen along with a half dozen dead roaches. The fix was easy, or at least they hoped. Three days later, Elizabeth's emailed proof to the county that its pest control company had sprayed for roaches. Inspectors, though, did not return to follow up. Six months later, it took a customer complaint of a cockroach crawling on a dining room table to trigger a response. Within three seconds of looking for them, a health inspector found a live roach. The roaches were crawling out of the dish machine and the oven. Dead roaches were in the walk, in the oven, and on a rack with clean dishes. The health department called it an imminent health risk and in a rare move, shut it down. It was one of eight restaurants forced to close by the Kent County Health Department in three years. Four for cockroach infestations, one for being overrun with mice, a couple for sewer problems, and XO Asian cuisine for a long list of recurring problems. It's a huge incentive, um, but it, it's just another tool in the toolbox that we have. If that's what they need to start, you know, taking food safety seriously, and that's our main goal is to make sure that, you know, the health department can partner with the restaurant owners to make sure that food safety is a priority. And sometimes that's what it takes. Most reopened a day or two later. The closing at Elizabeth forced it to hire a new pest control company. We, the company that we had that wasn't doing their job. And, and so we uh, improved our cleaning and stuff. And we hired a different company. So since then, we're doing better. Elizabeth opened a day later, but not before a health inspector found it was much cleaner. Uh, the lady from the health department said it wasn't that bad, so we have to figure, fix it right away. And, and that's what we did. So we worked hard for, so that way we could stay in business. A few weeks later, an inspector followed up again, meeting with the owners and the pest control company. But not all closings lead to success. In October 2014, the county shut down side-by-side -side restaurants in the 34th Street Mall in South Division vision for roaches. Since then, inspectors have found 10 priority violations, the kinds that can make you sick, at My Tierra El Salvador, and 19 at Garibaldi 3. None were for roaches. Over three years, Target 8 found Garibaldi 3 ranks 14th among restaurants for serious violations. But at Elizabeth's, inspectors have found far fewer violations, four since it reopened. No mention of roaches. Uh, we've been working, like I said, we've been working really hard on the um, on everything. So we've been, I think it's it's good. Come over and see us. Uh, we've been doing better and better since since that day. So come over and see us. Now we have an interactive map showing the eight restaurants the county temporarily shut down. That's on our website where you can also search for serious violations at your favorite restaurant and a map of the top 10 violators. All right, so those guys made the corrections. That's what the health department wants to see. And tomorrow Correct. night, the series continues. You brought, we talked about XO right at the top of that yeah, report. Yeah, exactly. And Where are, they're gone, but there's a new restaurant in, in, uh, in place of that. Right, and we're circling back, going to back to XO, which is now Soho Sushi. Um, the county says they're new owners. We spoke with the new owners. And um, it, it's, it's an interesting story on what's mm -hmm. happened. Interesting. Well, yeah. then we'll have to watch yeah. that one, too. Thank Thanks. you, Ken. Yeah.